You, the city of Cape Town is concerned about an environmental health crisis brewing at a refugee camp in Belleville. It's reported that there is internal conflict at the camp and some of the refugees have been kicked out of the tents. The evicted group says there is no access to running water and they're not allowed to use toilet facilities. ENCA's Monique Mortlock is following those developments and joins us now. Uh, Monique, what's happening at the camp? What are people telling you? I'm going to ask my colleague Crescendo Lowe just to show you what it looks like um, behind me. This is outside um, of the refugee camp here in Belleville at Paint City. Um, here is a group of about, I heard, about 100 um, refugees who are no longer living in the main tent, which is behind the fence. So they are now uh, in the entrance, basically. And when I spoke to, um, there was a, a, a lady that I spoke to a bit earlier, Balu, can I ask you just to come forward please um balu just explain to us what has it been like living here you said you've been here for two weeks why why was the decision taken to um stay here outside instead of inside in the tent it's okay i'll hold it yeah the problem does took us to be outside it's not like we decide ourselves to be outside you know there is people that they are saying themselves if the property belongs to them. They took our stuff and they throw outside. So they told us if we enter inside, they will kill us. That's why we are here. Because we are refugees. We don't have place to go. So they already chase us. We don't have any way to go. So we are here as a refugee. We are asking for help. That's why we are here. And what has it been like um, staying outside? You mentioned there's no toilets, you don't have running water. How have you been surviving? We don't have water. We don't have a toilet. We are using plastics for, for toilets. And we are going to ask water everywhere. Even here in Belleville, they are tired of us now. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Now I want to bring in um, Councillor Zahid Badruddin from the city of Cape Town. He's the MAKO member uh, for health and community services. Councillor, the city of Cape Town, obviously this, uh, the, the situation of the refugees, that, that responsibility lies with home affairs. For the city of Cape Town, where you come in, just explain the city of Cape Town's role. So one year ago, uh, these tents were erected by national government in response to the need to move the refugees outside of the CBD into an area that was COVID sensitive and the, to adhere to the various regulations. I was informed about a week ago of a developing environmental health crisis here, which is the role that the city plays in terms of the individuals that have moved outside of the tent into the area in front of our uh, safe space here in Belleville as well, which then initiates a number of complications because of trucks that need to come in and out to clean up the various ablution facilities. But the fact of the matter is that urgent attention is needed now for the refugees to either be repatriated or reintegrated into the various communities where they come from. We have since had a meeting with the National Minister, Dr. Mutsua Ledi, to inform him of the situation. Yeah, he has also given the commitment that together with the United Nations uh, High Commission of Refugees, that action is being undertaken at the moment to reintegrate people into the communities, should the refugees choose uh, to be reintegrated into those spaces. The fact is clear that there is no, um, no space for uh, repatriation or, or transfer to a third country, but rather into the communities that they've come from or the countries of origin, which is where we're at the moment. But as we stand here, the health crisis, as we're seeing behind me, is ongoing. Uh, these refugees don't have access to water, sanitation, ablutions, as has been mentioned. And this is the serious concern that we've now already written to the department about in order to address, because essentially it is their responsibility to make sure that the refugees have some uh, appropriate care and to address the needs that they're seeing here at the moment. But in the meantime, I mean, this is a problem that's been coming on since 2019. The issue of asylum seekers, refugees, um, uh, protesting or, or calling for home affairs or government to help them um, to be repatriated or, or to, to, to get them some help in terms of documentation. 
But while Home Affairs and, and government officials are trying to uh, sort out or find a sustainable or long-term solution, in the meantime, um, what can be done? Or, or, and I know the city of Cape Town has limited resources, but what is the plan? Unfortunately, that's not a question that I can answer. We know very clearly that the Auditor General has already said that the monies that we've spent on the refugees in Wingfield has been spent without a mandate to spend such money. We've gone back to provincial government and to national government to say that this is out of our responsibility and out of our mandate and therefore national government needs to come on board to address this. They've realized this and this is why we've had that meeting uh, with uh, national government earlier in the week. But the important, the important point here that must be made is that there seems to be some uncertainty in the national spheres about whose responsibility it is here to address refugees. We've been told that the Refugee Act doesn't clearly uh, stipulate whose role it is in terms of assisting these refugees to access the various services that have been committed to them and services that they would like to offer, and that needs to be sorted out on national government. It's not for local government to tell national government that you need to address a problem that clearly is stated in our opinion in the Refugee Act. My final question, what are the risks uh, involved here, the health risks? So you, you just but have to look at what we're seeing behind us. People on, literally on top of each other, children running around. When I was here the other day, I witnessed with my own eyes children peeing in the open. That's obviously going to expose you to risk of disease because in the same space, people are cooking food. Just behind me as well, I've seen now that people are sharing buckets of water where they're, you know, spitting the water out into buckets to, to wash their, to brush their teeth. But at the same time, no COVID uh, regulations are being added year to year and this is no fault of their own these refugees need the space to be able to social distance the support to give them the mass that is required so therefore national government and other external stakeholders like the united united nations high commission for refugees must come on board and i'm very pleased that our meeting earlier in this week was positive they have started the engagements and refugees have already started to be reintegrated into the communities that they've come from Thank you very much. That was Councillor Zahid Badruddin from the city of Cape Town just explaining the um, growing health risk that we see behind us and it will definitely be um, uh, an important step, next step for us to get the Home Affairs Department or the, the Home Affairs Minister to speak to us and to find out what is being done.